Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be working on this quick video on how I just quickly personalized this box here for my baby sister. I'm gonna show you how I do layered colors like this and how easy it is so you can do it too. So let's get started. Okay, here I am on Cricut Design Space and I have opened a new project. We're just gonna start off by always just making our shapes so then I know how big to make everything. And I had measured this to be about eight by four. So this is the size of my container. And I'm just changing the color so we could see it better, something like this. Next we go into text and then we just enter the name we wanted to use. This is for my baby sister, so I'm just writing her name here. And Cricut does have a lot of system fonts you can use, but you can always go to defont.com. I'm always telling you guys um, those are free fonts for you to download. I have a lot of them here. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this font. This one is Hello Honey. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to make the inside white. And then I'm going to use the offset feature. And you can see the bubble of how big it's going to be. And I like to use 08 just because that's my personal preference. I think that's a great thickness for it. So then I hit apply and that creates a little background for it. I want that background to be maybe like a blue. So something like that. And staying right on that offset, I'm going to go back inside to the offset and create another one. So basically an offset of the offset and apply. And that way we have different layers and different colors. So I don't know, maybe that would be like a dark blue, maybe a black. I don't know. Just use whatever colors you want to use. My little sister has been into pink though. So maybe I should just make this pink. I'm not sure. Maybe a light pink and then a dark pink and a white. I think they should be okay. And since this is the size of my pencil box, this is how it's going to look. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, it's up to you. You can always group it so it doesn't move out of place. So it's just one piece. But if you just leave it ungrouped, you'll be able to separate them like this. So you can either hide this or delete that. We don't need it anymore. And we're just going to begin printing. And now we could just go over to make it. And this is what they look like. They're just going to be printed on regular vinyl. So we're just going to be cutting a white, a dark pink, and a light pink. Here you can see my camera and this is what it looks like. It just has, you know, two tiers. And I thought it was really pretty since my little sister totally loves makeup right now. Um, I'm going to put her name right on the top. So I'm just going to use a cotton ball. And this has um, alcohol on it. So I'm just going to give it a nice wipe. Here I have the vinyl, it's all cut. And now that you have everything put together, I'm just gonna be peeling it away. And I did leave the transfer tape on it, so that's going to help me hold it better. And last part, this goes right on top of our box here. And this is the finished look. This is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Now for the finishing touch, I'm just going to add some makeup for her. And also I found this at the dollar store as well. So this is what I'm going to be giving her. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much for watching.